brand, take it to some new heights. Get it on and popping from the day to the night. Digital marketing to have your mind blown. Give your brand what it needs to make it well known. Branding tools to help. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Nancy from NancyBadija.com. And on today's tutorial, um, I will be teaching you how to add text in Adobe Photoshop CC. The reason why I decided to create a tutorial is because this is one of the most frequent questions I get, especially because I sell edible files on XC. So a lot of people always ask me, how do I edit this? And I figure, well, let me just create a video. It will probably be a lot quicker to teach someone through the video versus sending them instructions. So today I'll be showing you how to add text to any to a new design that you want to create whether it's an edible file from Photoshop or whether you want to add um, a text overlay like I'm doing on this um, on this design here. So this is going to be the thumbnail for my video, the one I'm creating right now. So I'm going to show you how to add text to it. So let's go ahead and get started. By the way, if you have any questions about a different tutorial for Photoshop that you will need help with, um, please leave a comment below and I will create that video for you in order to help you with the what question that you currently have. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is the design that I'm gonna use. So the first thing you wanna do is that whenever you upload a file, you wanna make sure that you are, are typing on the right layer. So I'm gonna use this one, which is the top layer. See, as yes, that one goes away, that's the top layer. So make sure that you click here first. Once you select the layer, you click on T for text, and you have two options, the two options that I use the most, there's actually four, but the two that I use the most is horizontal type tool, which is right, which is writing horizontal, and vertical type tool, which is writing up and down. So for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna use the horizontal so I don't have to do any changes. I'm gonna leave it as, as it is. So the next step will be is to go ahead and start typing. So here, you would, you would click on, on the screen and here's the cursor to write. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Adobe Photoshop CC tutorial. And I'm gonna press enter. And I'm gonna put how to add text in Photoshop. So there you go. Once you do that, anytime you write text, if you wanna move on to the next thing, which is maybe centering the text, or changing the color, make sure that you click on the check mark. And then with the move tool, which is this tool up here that has like four little errors, if you click there, you could drag the text to the middle of the page. Let's say that you want the text a different color. Um, all you have to do is click on text again, click on the actual wording, select the whole wording, and then what you wanna do is click on the color palette. You could click here, or you could click here, it doesn't matter. Either one works fine. Here, you could play with it and you could change it to any color you want. As you see, I have it now like a light pink, I have it red, I have it um, gray, which you can't see it too much. You could come here and kind of play with it. You could change it to the green, which is pretty, but it doesn't go with this color scheme that I have. So this is where you will select the color I'm gonna keep it for this tutorial black. So once you pick the color that you want, you press okay, and then you ch every time you're gonna click the check mark. Every time you do um, a change, you click the check mark as confirming that that's the change you wanna make. Once you do that, let's say you wanna change the, the font, you don't want this font. You do the same, you click on text again, you, write, you click on the actual screen, and then you select the, t the the text and then you go up here and this is where your text all your fonts are I have a lot of fonts so here you would just play with it you could just kind of go like scroll down like this and kind of see which which one of these you like better so for me let me see so I'm gonna keep going down as you see you could kind of see the different text options I kind of like this one. So I think I'm gonna select this one. Actually, I'm gonna keep the first one only because this one is kind of getting lost with the picture in the background. 
and this one I felt was a little stronger so you could kind of see it. However, let's say you want to make this smaller, like the text, you want to decrease the font, you would click here. So right now it's a 25 on this font. Keep in mind that depending on the font that you use, a 25 on this font is a, a nice size, but a 25 on a different font is a lot smaller, sometimes a lot bigger. So you have to manipulate it based on the on the size that you see on the screen. So if I do 30, it looks like it's a little bit too big. If I do 15, it's a little bit a tab too small. 20, I actually like the 25 that I had. So I'm going to keep it at 25. And then once again, I'm going to press check. If you want to do additional stuff, like a fancier things or change additional stuff, what you could do is, um, again, select the text. You could right click. And right here, it's going to give you different options. Like you, you can make it italic if you want. You can make it bold, so make it a little bit more bold if you wanted to. You see how now it's italic and bold. If you want to change it, just select it again, right click, and just click on it, and take it off. So that's just another way to kind of make it bold or change it. Another thing you could do as well is that you could select the, the wording, the texting, which is right here. You could double click on it. And this option will pop up for you. So let me close it out because I think it opened a new layer. So here you go. So these are different um, styles of things you could do to the actual text. So you could create a, a pattern overlay. Um, if you want to click on it, it will show you the colors that you currently have. So you will have to have some, some pattern textures already installed in your computer. So a lot of times when people want to make something gold foil, this is the way they do it. Um, they add the pattern and then it turns into different colors depending on what you have. So this is just an idea so you can kind of see that. If you have a pattern, you could you could use that if you like. You could do a, a gradient overlay. And how the gradient overlay works is that it looks like an ombre effect. Um, these are some of the ones I already have pre-made that I, I normally use. Um, you could do different colors like this, like black and white like that. I mean, sorry, pink and, and black. You could do like an overlay with green and orange. So it just pretty much depends. You could do it this way, which is black on the top and pink on the bottom. And then these are just different variations of colors, things that you could play with. If you want to kind of change it, you could kind of play here a little bit more and it'll make the color lighter or darker, depending on what you pick. So... And this is where you actually could create different variations of, of an ombre effect. As you can see, now the top part has pink here and black on the top. So I'm creating the ombre effect. And if you like it, you can save it and name it. If not, you don't have to save it. You could use it that one time. So if you don't want an uh, uh, overlay or ombre effect, which I call it, you could just remove it. This is the color. You could go in here. Select any color, which is pretty much like the other one we were doing earlier. That you could pretty much pick any color. It's the same thing. It's just a, it's a different way to do it. You could do satin colors, um, which is going through here and picking these different colors of hues, and it will change the color for you. Um, so these are different things that you could do. Um, you could do a stroke, which is like adding additional colors to it, like a gradient if you want. Um, some people play with this and they create their own nice textures if they wanted to. So these are different things that you could do. But pretty much in order to add a text, just to give you like a final recap, all you have to do is select number one, the layer that you're working with, which will be the top one. Second, you will click on T for text. Thirdly, you will click on the screen. Fourth, you will type. Five, you will confirm. And then you could, you know, adjust it to wherever you want to put it at. Once you adjust it, then you could go ahead and change the color by clicking on text, selecting the color. You could change the text option or the font option. You could change the size so you can make it bigger or smaller. But that's pretty much it. This is how you um, create text or add text to an overlay of a picture or to a new design. Um, if you guys have any questions, please leave the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I'll be adding more tutorials on Photoshop as well as digital marketing, how to make money online, 
and all my tips and tactics that I use to grow my social media, grow my brand, as well as make money on Etsy. Thank you for watching this video and you guys have a wonderful night.